Vice President for Operations because I really like VSA and I've loved all the work that I've done this year and I really want to keep doing that and working with these people again. Um, operations specifically because the job has a lot to do with the accessibility of resources and I think that that's one of the places where um, we're seriously lacking and falling behind um, as a college and I think we could do so much more with it because we do have such good resources here and I really want to make sure that everyone has access to them. So that's going to be one of my biggest projects for next year. I think that one of the really special things about Vassar is that people are really passionate about things. They really care about things and want to, you know, get out there and change things. Um, and Vassar actually has all these amazing resources where you can follow through with these things and you can write resolutions that the dean of the college and the president will actually read and listen to and people just don't know how to go about that and they don't know who to go to if they have a complaint with administration or faculty and there are actually people you can go to and I think that just by clarifying the structure of the college and just making all of the joint committees and the representatives more accessible and just more public, we can actually change a lot of things and people can get involved, you know, to the extent that they really want to, which I think is one of the best things about Vassar and our system of shared governance. I think I'm qualified for the position for Vice President for Operations because I was president of NOISE this past year and I sat on the operations committee, so I did a lot of work just being in the committee, I was the note taker, so I you know, got really involved with just keeping track of everything. So I have all of the things from this past year so we can really move forward from where we are now and not fall behind, which is what's happened in the past sometimes when the documentation hasn't been as strong. Um, I led a couple of projects this year. I worked really, really hard on our constitution thon, which was this project to really edit our governing documents because there were a lot of flaws with them, which is horrifying, quite frankly. Um, but I think we fixed, a, we fixed a lot of the problems. There's still a couple more that I want to, you know, work on. Just some of the language is still kind of iffy and not all of the information is accurate, actually. Um, so having this background and knowing the governing documents very well <laughs> will be really helpful. Um, other organizations I work with on campus right now um, really have given me the opportunity to see a lot of the resources we have on campus. Um, and I feel like I really actually do have a good grasp on the governance and the structure of things. So I know I would do a really good job um, advertising that. I also have experience, I was the secretary of my class freshman year. So I'm very involved in taking notes and organizing things and making sure that everything is accessible to large groups of people. big thing is really accessibility, so pretty much everything I do next year will be about transparency. I really want to put big bulletin boards in the College Center that talk about the structure of things and all the projects we're working on. Basically, I want to make the entire VSA more transparent by everything that I'm doing. Um, Facebook presence and Twitter, I really want to revamp those and make sure that everyone who wants to be involved is, but people who have no interest in VSA don't have to listen to that sort of stuff. Um, but definitely publicizing all projects we're working on, making sure the times of all of the meetings are available is a big thing, and just reaching out to students to see who wants to actually participate in this stuff and who has an opinion, because a lot of people do, and they just don't know who to reach out to. And we're here and we want to listen, so hopefully we can make that happen next year. biggest job as Vice President for Operations next year would be to really bridge the gap between students and alumni. As Vice President for Operations, I would be working with alumni a lot and trying to make sure that students have access to them if they want them to talk to about, you know, life after Vassar or just talking about maybe internships and jobs and places in the future. I think the council can do a lot of things to really centralize all of those offices that work with anything off campus and students need a lot of help there and don't always know who to talk to and I really want to fix that and help people in any way that I can.